The human and health impacts of climate change are becoming difficult to ignore. Extreme weather events are disrupting more lives and exacerbating the existing inequalities in health and healthcare. On this episode of Health Digest, we take a look at how climate change is impacting on access to healthcare services in Baringo County due to rising waters of Lake Bogoria and Baringo. Four years ago, this small health center in a small corner of Baringo was a beehive of activity. Women, children, and men trooped here every day for all manner of health services. And for decades, this facility served the small community here quite well. But today, all that is history. The health center is gone, swallowed inch by inch by the rising waters of Lake Bogoria. Here in the calmness of the vast expanse of a lake known for its splendor and volcanic past, this small structure stands in absolute misery. Its glory days are gone and with it the health dependencies of the hundreds of families who live here. We begin our special report on the effects of climate change on Kenya's health systems here. Loboi Dispensary in Baringo County is a desolate marker of what happens when Mother Nature revenges on the indiscipline of mankind. A warning that all is not well and that nothing will stand in the way of this greatest ecological disaster of our times. Fancy Kiprotich, a community health volunteer who worked here for years, is horrified by the destruction. Every now and then, she makes the pilgrimage to the ruins of what was once her workstation. And every time she comes here, she is mortified by the enormity of what this spectacle means for her and the community she serves. Since 2018, I was in Na kaanza kumesa hiyo hospitali yetu. So since 2018, we face so many challenges as the residents of Loboi location. Kwanza tuliwasa kupotesa maternity wing, ambayo ilikuwa na saidia wa mama, saidia mia tatu. Wa mama hata saidia 20 something walikuwa na saa every month. Kutina hii ya tulikuwa tunafadanga more than 120 something women wanyo wamechefungua with zero cost. Lakini tangu hiyo hospitali ilifukua imemeswa, to cancer quadrica sababu atuna hospital as we speak within Loboi location. So in a bid to make track with a foot on us, I took to my mother when you may share that way you want to an apart to. Experts have been warning that climate change is affecting every aspect of the healthcare system and worsening existing inequalities in healthcare. For instance, Loboi was the only facility the residents here could depend on for outpatient and maternity services. And now, the facility stands submerged in these murky waters that produce a pungent smell that hovers over the shoreline. The county government was able to help us with an office that we were able to help us with an office. We were able to help us with an office. We were able to help us with an office. We were able to help us with an office. We were able to help us with an office. We were able to help us with an office. We were able to help us. Sasa vitu mingi na saa hizi ya uwese pimuwa kama mjamisito sababu unawana iso vitu si mingi hakuna. Ina vitu meenda marika kuta kujaribu kama vitu ya lab test. Na kitambo ulikuwa unapata hapa. Sao unawana wa mama wengu wa meadirika hata wengine wa mekosa kwa tikukuka tentisi mambo na sa clinics. Ama watutu wengine wa mepotesa immunizations. Because kuenda mbaka marika tu naipitu uwa na miyaina kuenda without lunch, without anything. So unawana we are incurring a lot of costs and we are supposed to access to that health for free. So ni kama mlaaje wa loboi na sasa sema tumepotesa vitu mingi sana. Na tunawamba serikali waweza kutufanyia haraka ili tuweza kupata because this is a very big necessity to our community. So critical was the role the dispensary played in this community that its absence now also threatens the well-being of the county's youth who would throng the facility for sexual reproductive health services. What is happening mostly I think there is high rate of HIV nini HIV HIV transmission because most of the youth cannot even afford to buy those condoms so they end up when they are drunk they end up messing 
or they end up doing that act without that protectives. But earlier on, walikuwa na hiyo protectives wasa wangeesa kuji protect. Hata kama walikuwa na kimbia hospitali, lakiwa na ana jojota na kimbia hospitali, ana jukua. But now, because maisha ya saizi, as, as we speak, the economy of Kenya is rising that high. So they are, they are seeing that they, are, they better buy for food than to buy for a condo. Kulukuwa na kaiting and cancelling kwa wasitiana ambao walikuwa na ansia na 12 years. Because I was among the committee ya hii hospital. Even within the fraction ya hii hospital ili samaj, nilikuwa kamati. Two, tulikuwa tunapea na kaiting and cancelling kwa wasitiana. Kulukuwa na itete na vaccination. Inye tulikuwa tunapaksideni wasitiana kutoka miaka atitiza. Mbaka wa mama wa 45 years. They were hovering that. Another one, most of the ladies, or most of the children, teenage, teenagers, could come even for family plan and wange asa kupewa. So wange afo itiso mambona alo teenage pregnancy. Climate change is rarely discussed in the context of its effects on health systems. There has been little research into what rising temperatures, swelling lakes and seas, and flash floods are doing to Kenya's health ecosystem. But in the few days we transversed this county, we saw firsthand what decades of climate degradation are doing to dispensaries and health centers. In Kambia Samaki, an idyllic fishing village along the shores of Lake Baringo, the service charter of what was once the local dispensary still shouts its promise from a distance. But beneath it, the rising waters of Lake Baringo tell another story. <laughs> the waves constantly lash at the facility, washing away into the depths of the lake, not just the structure, but the promise and service it once stood for. I've been living here throughout uh, my life, and I've witnessed the water coming right from 2012, 2011, the first phase, the, the water started increasing, and 2019, 2020, which, got, which took the hospital. So, for me, it didn't happen just once overnight. It's uh, something that uh, happened within a year for the water to be taken by the, for, for the water to take the hospital the way it has taken them. Louis Juma has watched the dispensary wash away slowly and says this disaster is hard to comprehend. It's actually been a problem since the water took the hospital, especially for the community living within the Lake Baringo Basin that is from east to west and north. It has actually been a problem since it has, it's submerged. The reason why, because I'm saying it's a problem, if you see the people living within here, there are more than 5,000 people within the ecosystem of, campus, of, of Lake Baringo. And many of them were depending on this hospital for medication. That is, uh, those who are living on the island, when there's no medicine there, they have to be brought to this level five hospital that is here and they get attention without being referred to other dispensaries. The residents say the water levels in the freshwater lake began to rise gradually around 2011 and that since then the lake has been claiming more land and pushing residents farther away as it expands its territory. Not even the dead are spared of this wrath. Kambia Samaki Dispensary did not only serve residents on the mainland, but also the ones who call Cocoa Island home. The facility that now remains a shell that stands in the hippopotamus and crocodile infested waters acts a constant reminder of what the residents have been deprived of, courtesy of Mother Nature. Tango hospital ingia kwa maji, watu walipata shida sana. Sasingina watu wana pesa ya kwanda marikata. Na hapa, wakati hapa ni wengi sana. Hapa tuko mixed. Watu ni wengi. Na hospitali hapa kutoka hapa, hata lopande ya loruk ni mbali, na hakuna hospitali. Okorayan ni mbali, hakuna hospitali, hiku hospitali, lakini dawa hakuna. Mbaka hospitali yetu ni marika tu. Na kama una pesa, hauta uh, mek. Access to emergency services is poor, and I can say it's very poor indeed. County government is not doing anything to, to, to help at the moment because we have got no ambulance. The only ambulance you can find is in Marigat. And from Marigat, you go to Chamalingot. That is the, near, the closest ambulance we have around. That's why recently you've been hearing of the cases of the snake bite in Baringo has been increasing. And uh, deaths has been resulting to the bites from the snake bite. The reason is why? Because there's no emergency or 
anything that can help reducing or make sure that the 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 victim somebody who has been beaten by the snake got medical assistance yeah so it's actually a problem because there's no acting or anything if you don't have money in your pocket it's either you live or you die in what seems to be a move to remedy the dire situation just like in loboi the county government set up a makeshift facility nearby to offer services but the residents we spoke to said the facility does not adequately cater for their needs and so they have to explore other costlier medical care alternatives a trip to the county's referral hospital on a motorbike which is the most readily available mode of transport here will cost one two thousand shillings to and fro government should try to hurry because uh, health is more important than anything else health center should be built with immediate effect because uh, this dispensary will not only dependent by the campus Samaki people people from from uh, from Kokwa are coming here People from uh, the other side of the lake on the north, the Pokot people were coming here. The Njems from Salabani, they were brought here. Those people have been maybe the soldiers who have been attacked by the bandits during the, the, the operation. Their medical attention could start here. But now as we talk, you have to wait either for the chopper to come or you lose your life. So by any means, they built a bigger hospital than this and put an ambulance because this is the center. Because those who are living by the side of the cliff, that is a Korean, they were coming for medication here. Yeah, they build, the, they should build the, 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 the big health center and, in, and maybe add with some staff quarter structures where the doctors can live so that it might be easier for somebody to access or to attend the patient. Lake Baringo, whose rising waters have been attributed to increased rainfall in the surrounding uplands as well as shifts in the tectonic plates of the Rift Valley, has not only consumed Cambia Samaki dispensary but also Ngambo dispensary, further reversing previous equity gains in the county's health sector. A journey to Ngambo dispensary is not for the faint hearted. Even so, we brave the rugged terrain and the scorching Baringo sun to a clearing that opens up to remains of what used to be Nambo dispensary. From a distance, this facility may pass for a stalled foundation of a building under construction, but that is not the case. I am 1.5 meters tall. Ordinarily, for me to reach the ceiling of any standard building in such an environment, I have to stand on something to just boost my height. But believe it or not, this is me standing on top of what used to be known as Ngambo Dispensary that now sits on silt deposited from floods as a result of rising waters in Lake Baringo. Thorny bushes and papyrus reeds now dominate this once safe heaven for the locals. When the waters came knocking, not even the concrete walls could protect the facility from the wrath of the lake. Gloa, surprisingly, this is where I worked for five years, up to 2002. Then I was transferred to Marigat Hospital. This was our injection room, and this was our main door. This one here was the main door to uh, the clerking room where ANCs were, were seen, and this other one is the injection room. So this one, we used to serve uh, both um, the ANCs, clerking, and a youth-friendly uh, thing. This was the room where we, 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 we see the youth, fr uh, it's a friendly, a youth-friendly center, like, although it had no uh, much about the youth, but at least we used to see them here. And I'm sure now, because there is no facility around, I'm sure the, the, those who want to, to get the services are forced to go up to Marigat or a dispensary that has been uh, built around uh, like three kilometers away from here. That is Sintan Dispensary. Similarly, an array of services were disrupted and residents are now bearing the brunt of the floods. Yes, 
Tulikuwa tunatumia batika watoto. Lakini fenye maji imekuja ikasama. Ika Sasa tuna sayo hospitali. Tuna tesaka mbaya sana. Hakuna bahali ya kwenda. Hospitali mbaya hapa ni Margaret na tunatumia pesa nyingi sana. Sasa tunaadilika sana hapa. Hapa lake na tuletea umbu. Tunapata ugonjwa kama malaria. Lake tena tuletea magonjwa kama cholera. Na kupata hospitali ni mbali sana. Sasa tunaomba serikali watujengee sta hospitali hapa karibu ili tuweze kusaidia. There are three lakes in Baringo County which continue to wreak havoc due to changes in climatic conditions. These are Baringo, Bogoria and a recent one formed in 1994 and named Lake 94. So the effect on our health system is uh, during the climate change we've seen these lakes um, continuously uh, swell and uh, submerge quite a number of our facilities, especially the facilities that are, are um, around that lake, serving the communities around that lake. Like uh, Lake Le Campia Samaki Health Center uh, got submerged, fully submerged. Uh, Loboy Health Center also uh, fully submerged. Um, earlier on, uh, Ngambo Dispensary had submerged earlier. That was the first effect of uh, this climate change. We started by having Ngambo Dispensary and uh, Salabani Dispensary submerged. The one which is also at the, at the, 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 the point of being submerged is Sirata Dispensary. That is by Lake 94. So that is the situation and um, of course, once you lose a faci an health facility, it's like we are losing the service, isn't it? Because that fa health facility is serving a, a certain population. This disruption, according to the county's health services coordinator, has dramatically scaled down health services in the affected areas. The county government also had to make a lot of intervention. Um, one is to, they, they had to locate or, dis or uh, negotiate with the communities around there and also the departments that are the government departments that were also um, within that very region so in camp in Kampia samaki we were hosted by um, the, the the kws um, they gave us a small um, temporary shelter where we continue to provide services Baringo County has a population of about 100,000 people who are served by over 200 public health facilities, including level one facilities spread across the country. Even with this number of facilities, it is clear that more still needs to be done to bridge access to health care here and keep the dream of ensuring equity and access to these crucial services alive. Natural disasters like floods have far-reaching consequences for the affected. And with the escalating climate emergency globally, county governments like Baringo and indeed Kenya as a whole are now forced to confront the twin monsters of the direct effects of climate change on populations as well as the secondary implications of those effects on primary health care. Gloria Milimu, KTN News.